Hello and welcome to the PowerPoint presentation for incoming first year students. My name is Sarah Casey and I'm one of the two art teachers here in La Rochelle College, Crumlin. Junior Cycle Visual Art is broken down into three strands. These strands are art, craft and design. Each strand is linked and all three strands will be studied in each year of the Junior Cycle. Strand number one is art. That can be described as drawing and painting. It's showcasing your creative ideas in a visual way. Design number two, craft, is using our artistic skill to create artifacts such as lino print, 3D work or puppetry. Strand number three, design. Design is the process of planning, problem solving and creating. So putting all our ideas together to create our artwork. All three strands are held together by our five elements of art, which are visual culture and appreciation, drawing, art elements and design principles, media and critical and visual language. Here is an example of first year student work from the three different strands of art, craft and design. We have a beautiful poster design, a lino print and then a 3D clay uh, piece. And this work would be done by, first, by incoming first year students. The five elements of art. So our first one is critical and visual language, and this is used by students to discuss their artworks. So this could be discussing their artworks with other students in their class, discussing their artworks with teachers, or writing about their artworks. So literacy is, almost a, is all, also a big element of art. Our second uh, element is visual culture and appreciation. So visual culture and appreciation is looking at and responding to a wide range of visual stimuli. It could be architecture, urban design, advertising, uh, craft design, photography, fashion and more. Students are always encouraged to investigate their own areas of interest to see where inspiration may lie for them. Drawing is our third element and it's a fundamental to art. It's an art form in itself and students need to experience and develop their drawing skills over the three years of junior cycle. Usually we are working from primary sources um, that in order to get uh, our ideas for our projects. The fourth element is art elements and design principles, so such as line, tone, texture, shape, form, contrast, emphasis, uh, unity and balance. And lastly, we've got media. So media can be anything that you're going to use to make your artwork. So media can be pencils, paint, ink, chalk, charcoal, spray paint, photography, digital art, to name a few. And students are always encouraged to explore and experiment with new media within the art room. Here is an example of a second year uh, portrait project that we did using the new media of oil pastels. Students were encouraged to experiment with colour and we looked at different artist references in order to help us with this project and the results were incredibly successful and the students really really enjoyed the project. Here is a bigger look at our poster design project that we did with first years. This is a really, really uh, popular project with first year students. We work on lettering, we work on colour, we work on balance, we work on composition. And we're also being inspired by um, pop artists such as Roy Lichtenstein and Andy Warhol. To give you an overview for the junior cycle, in first year, the three strands of art, craft and design are studied. In second year, we look at the three strands and we also complete our CBA um, one, so that is our classroom based assessment. In third year, we're looking at our three strands again, we complete our CBA two, and we also have our 12 week junior cycle project. It is really important to note um, for students who are considering picking art, that there is no written exam in June of your junior cycle. The entirety of the exam is done within the classroom in a 12 week block. That block usually starts uh, the January we come back after the Christmas holidays and then finishes sometime around April. If you are somebody who really enjoys working with a project um, and really enjoys um, just working on different ideas, then this project could be for you. Here is an example of um, one of the junior star projects that was completed last year. So as you can see, there is a finished piece on the right hand side, a beautiful painting. And then you can see the support studies work that was done within the student's workbook. So those are pages of a sketchbook that was completed by the student. All of this work was done during class time over the 12 weeks of the project. So again, there is no written exam in June. 
Here are some of the key skills that we look at in art. So managing myself, staying well, communicating, being creative, working with others, managing information and thinking, being numerate and being literate. So these key skills of the junior cycle are being covered within the visual art programme. Um, just to look at some careers, even though incoming first years are probably not thinking of careers yet. However, here are some careers um, that are available to you if you study art. So art therapist, photographer, interior designer, uh, teacher, primary school or secondary, early childhood education, tattoo artist, hair and beauty, theatre and film, uh, visual merchandiser and graphic designer, to name but a few. Um, and here is just some images of um, creative work done by people who would have studied art in school. Um, finally, why choose art? Why would I choose art going into first year? You would choose it because you enjoy it. If you are somebody who really enjoys art in primary school, who loves doing art in your spare time, who loves painting and drawing, experimenting, creating, investigating, then it's the subject for you. Um, you would choose it because you were good at it. If you really, really feel that art is your passion and you really enjoy it, you are good at it, then choose it. If you enjoy being given the chance to work independently, developing your own creative way to, to express yourself, then it's the subject for you. And if you are a creative thinker and and a problem solver but overall I would say if you enjoy it if you are good at it then art would be the subject for you thank you so much